It's the call, bitch. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's the call here. If you do not know who the call is, <laughs> you're missing out. I'm a makeup artist, a beauty influencer, a content creator based in Ibadan, Nigeria, and you're very much welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're a new subscriber, what's good how you doing and if you're an old subscriber you've been here before have you been <laughs> anyways for today's video i'm just going to be jumping straight into the video i'm going to be reviewing this eyeshadow palette it's called the blossom makeup ng eyeshadow palette i can't even lie i already used it once i just couldn't hold on to it this is what it looks like um it's a 35 color eyeshadow palette it looks like this these are the colors as you guys it has matte colors and shimmer colors it just looks like this and this is really really affordable honestly i've used a couple of their other products and i really liked it so by the way this is not pr i bought this with my own money so i just decided let me buy this for you guys and show it to you guys and we will see how it performs on camera okay i'm going to try my best to not be biased because i already used the ones i can't lie and i'm going to be working with blue because like i don't really like blue blue is not like i don't really do blue looks so i decided to just do blue like i feel like if i use a color that i don't really like you guys can get my honest opinion if that makes sense anyways i've been talking too much let's just jump right into the video but before that you already know like i'm tired of begging and saying it over and over and over again if you're watching this video right now you need to subscribe to my youtube channel like it's just below somewhere below like it's so so easy and if you're feeling generous just click on the bell beside that subscribe button so anytime i post a new video you are going to be the first person to know and that's like bvip okay so what's going to happen is i'm going to do my skin makeup off camera because i just feel like you guys don't really need to see that so let's jump right into the video hey guys what's good welcome back so as you guys can see i just did my skin makeup off camera I did my foundation, concealer, highlight and contour, my brows and yeah we're going to drop straight into the eyeshadow but first things first I'm going to be using this setting powder this is a very good setting powder this setting powder is really good and it's really 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 affordable okay I'm just going to put the setting powder underneath my eyes so just in case this eyeshadow has fallout that amount a bit, just a because you guys I need to lock I always need to lock my forehead because mm, see this my forehead first things first I'm going to be taking this blossom ng concealer it looks like this it's like a white concealer well this brush i'm going to place that on my eyes first and then i'm going to gently go in with the beauty blender i'm going to squeeze the beauty blender like this Going to apply a little bit of setting powder this remaining on the beauty blender i'm just going to go over it just to take away any wetness from the concealer yeah we have the base down now i'm going to be taking this brush and i'm going to be dipping into the eyeshadow palette the star of the show the star of the show now, I think I want to dip into Pink Diamond or Henna 
let's start with henna i'm going to be dipping into henna henna is this very dark purple it's a very very dark purple i'm going to just dip the brush i i dip the brush in and then i swirl around so let's see okay i'm gonna go in one more time now i'm just going to pack this color in my crease um first impressions for this matte shadow it's like how do i explain what i really like about this is really beautiful you guys saw the very first tap that i did it wasn't so vibrant but once i kept going in and in with that same color it just really popped you guys can see okay that's like an eyeshadow so i'm going to go in with um i'm going to go in with pink diamond pink diamond is also dark but it's like a it's a little bit lighter than the shade that we just applied i'm going to dip into pink diamond with that same brush i'm going to go over the top of that color that i just placed so i'm just i'm using i'm doing it in very very soft motions going over that color that we just applied you guys my eye shape is like so crazy okay. just like that. I'm going to be doing one eyes on camera and one eyes off camera so just to save time now I'm going to go in with ozone I'm going to go in with ozone ozone is like a light purple shade also a matte shade tap it off and go right over pink diamond oh can you guys see that gradient that is giving me okay one thing i can say about this eyeshadow is like it's so easy to blend like i'm literally just holding the brush in a very very soft way it's so easy to blend Ooh. That looks blown out i'm going to be using fling fling is this yellow shade to blend out the ozone that will just put yellow shade go directly above ozone and i'm going to blend it out just like that you want it to transition from soft to dark soft to hard light to dark <laughs> I'm just going to keep going in with that fling until that top is well blended and I'm satisfied with the way it looks. Yeah, hmm, I love it. I'm, I'm going to go in with a little bit of henna just to deepen the crease because we seem to have lost the color while doing all of the blending. You guys can see that I'm leaving a little space. That's where the main color is going to go. Ooh, yes so first impressions this eyeshadow blends really really well that's one thing i can really really say about it and i would say the matte colors are really pigmented well it's not pigmented at like the first touch but like once you keep on building once you keep on going it's going to get it's going to get darker as you go so you want to be very careful when using this eyeshadow yeah so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take that same concealer that we applied all over my eyes i'm going to evenly spread that all over my lip just like this um i don't know i don't want to do a cut crease so i'm just going to place that i want to place it here i'm just going to place that all over my lip just like that now i'm going to be taking another brush I'm going to be taking this brush now there's a little bit of black on it but like i already rubbed it off i'm just going to use this to blend the edges of that con not, not 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 really to blend but like to press it in yeah just like that can you guys see that now i'm using another brush to gently pat that concealer to take away any wetness like because if the base or the concealer is wet before you apply the eyeshadow like it's going to pick up the eyeshadow now we have this little space there i'm going to be taking blessed 
Ooh, I'm blessed, yes. No, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed, yes. <laughs> I'm going to be taking this blessed eyeshadow, dipping in with this brush. So I'm going to apply it at a go without spraying my brush, and then I'm going to apply it after spraying my brush. So we're going to see like how it performs. So I'm just dipping into blessed right now. I just dip into blessed. That's what it looks like, and I'm just gonna... okay. Ooh. Like I really hope the camera is picking up this color. Like it's not doing bad at all. Like you have to tap and then drag. Oh my goodness. Ooh. You guys, this is nice. This is nice. Oh my god, I love it. It looks like I have pigment on my eyes. Wow. And this is without even um spraying the brush you guys this is good color payoff right here like i don't know if you guys can see that i just want to keep on going in over and over and over oh my god you guys this is good payoff like imagine how bomb it will look if i just put a pigment over it i'm going to be using that same brush the one i was using to blend my crease but i'm not going to put anything i'm just going to blend out the edges of that match of that shimmer shadow that we just put so we can blend in with the eyeshadow this is so pretty you guys so i'm going to be applying i'm going to go in with more colors i'm going to be applying 20 hmm. should we do impact you guys should we do impact or 24 gold 24k 24k or impact 24k is like a shimmery gold, a dark gold, and then impacts like a light blue. Um, let's do 24k. I'm going to be dipping in 24k here, and then I'm going to be putting that directly in front of that blue that we just applied. So I really love this color. Like, did I say love? Jesus, I really love. <laughs> I just dip into 24k now. I'm going to apply that right. Oh! Did you guys did you guys see that? Did you see what that oh my goodness? Did you see what oh my god 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 you guys these eyeshadows are not joking they are not playing you guys if I had applied a bit more this eyeshadow could have literally overshadowed that blue why am i going with more okay this is really really pretty i can't even lie like blossom really came through with this palette you guys that 24k shade that you're saying oh my god i love it i want to go in with more blue again and now i'm going in I like I want to take away the line between that blue and that 24k that I just put so I just look at what I'm doing right here I'm taking the blue from inside you guys oh this is so pretty <laughs> okay let's experiment so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply a very 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 little bit of concealer underneath my eyes I'm going to take away a little bit of that setting powder yeah now I'm going to be applying like very very tiny concealer under my eyes yeah just like that now I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to dip into henna yes I'm going to go in the same way I went in on top of my crease I'm going to do pink diamond do henna and then I'm going to do blessed again so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be picking up um, henna right now and I'm going to be starting from my outer crease I'm going to be starting from here I'm just going to be placing that at... this is a palette this is a palette just like that so it just ties in with the eyes more
you guys tell me you are not leaving right now i want to look for a pigment that i can apply on top of this found it there we have it so i'm going to tap this pigment with my uh, with my finger just like that and i'm going to gently go over that blue just a little i don't want it to overshadow that blue so this pigment is just going to tie in <sighs> tell me you can see this it literally looks like a disco ball on my eyes right now i really 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 love it blossom really really came through with this palette you guys this is definitely a recommended buy from me and this is so so cheap like if you are just starting out with your makeup if you are an, an like an advanced person with your makeup this palette retails for just 3500 and for the payoff and the colors you get trust me it's totally worth it so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to um go off camera line my eyes apply my lashes do my other eyes and then i'll be right back hey guys so you're welcome back as you guys can see i just finished my eyes off camera i fixed my lashes and i'm feeling cute as anyways these lashes are from sharon obsession lashes as you guys can see these lashes are not meant for ordinary like going out and it's for special occasions maybe you have an ex that you want to just like show them that you have arrived this is the lash that you need okay now i'm going to be applying my highlight normally i use the blows on makeup um um glow pot and it's freaking amazing i'm not sure i can ever finish that thing because ever since I, it looks just like this i don't know where i put it and i don't want to stand up it looks just like this basically and each time i want to use it i always tap off the cover that's to show how pigmented it is so to take it on a different level i'm going to be using a color from the eyeshadow palette to highlight my face let's go with 24k i'm using 24k to highlight my face i really hope it doesn't end up disastrous i'm going to take a little bit of my nose I just lined my lips with a brown liner. Now I'm going to be using this Blossom Makeup Concealer. I really hope it comes out nice. That is so beautiful! Now I'm going to be using this Liquid Crystal topper lip gloss this lip gloss has like shimmer in it and now after that i'm gonna go in with clay gloss just to make it pop a little bit more So guys, that concludes this look for my Blossom Makeup NG review. I really, 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 really enjoyed filming this video and my makeup looks so flawless and amazing. Blossom Makeup, I recommend that brand for you guys. It's really affordable. It's really, really good. I mean, like for the quality you get, it's amazing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so glad you watched up to this point. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, drop a comment. I really want to know what you guys think of this makeup look, what you guys think of the quality, what you guys think of everything. Anyways, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you. Until the next time, stay blessed.